if you are always collecting these four things you have to stop immediately these are the things that you shouldn't collect from anybody and do not give out to somebody do not ever give out to somebody hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is pamela in case you are new here you are welcome you are always watching thank you so much may god bless you and grant all your heart desires this channel will help you greatly to show you how to do some prayers to make god to answer your prayers faster do your spiritual work yourself by using those things created by god natural things that has spiritual benefits use them wisely you see things working perfectly in your life if you love spiritual things go on and subscribe turn on the bell so that whenever i upload videos you get notified and come and watch many people think that i'm doing spiritual work i don't do spiritual work for people the only thing i share is giving out spiritual tips just like this and also prayers you doing them rightly by yourself you see things working perfectly so anywhere you come across Pamas tv pamela any platform be it facebook youtube telling you to bring money pretending to be pamela giving her whatsapp number and all that i'm not the one just know that the person will scam you they are scammers thank you so i'm going to list some four things not to give out no matter what and also do not lend to somebody like giving out to somebody and person will use and give back to you no do not try it there are some things that means a lot spiritually you are looking at this life as normal normal yes this life is sweet this life is easy but it's highly spiritual the life is more spiritual than natural so you have to take notes there are some things that can bring consequences like everyone are not the same the spirit following one is not the same with another one so you have to be careful what you receive or what you collect from somebody and you as well even if you are highly spiritual you are a good person do not give us something to somebody and the person will return it back to you i will list out four things that you shouldn't collect from somebody or give out to somebody the first thing is giving out wig you know like you have wig and somebody will come and say oh lend me lend me your wig i want to go out and i will bring it back for you please do not give to somebody no matter what i know it may look as if you are wicked or stingy or something but that is the fact if you have the money, you can give or support the person to get his or her own. But do not give out wig, what you put on, on your head. Your head is your crown. Your head carries your glory. Do not give out your head tie, except the person is related to you. Except you know the person in and out in the house. Your head tie, what you use in tying your hair, your scarf, your headwear. Your headwear, scarf, head tie, wig, weavons. Do not give out to somebody. If you want to give, make sure you give without taking it back. I'm not saying the person is evil. But the person may not be aware of the energy surrounding him or her. The person may be innocent. Like, for example, you may be innocent, but you don't know that you are carrying negative energies. So when somebody gives you something and you give the person back, it may bring consequences. Like, the person will automatically inherit that bad energy, that evil that is surrounding you. So you have to be aware what you give out and what you collect. Do not give out your head where it carries your glory. It may bring problem. So the next one is bad luck. I know this is not common, but there are some people that they don't have uh, what to use and lock their door. They will learn from somebody, give me a padlock. Let me use, I'll give back to you. Or they will go to a shop, please give me, let me just lock my house. Let me just lock my bag. Later, I will give it back to you. I don't want to buy. Please use your money to purchase. Do not collect these things. Do not. These are things that means a lot spiritually. You can padlock your finance. You can padlock so many good things. So it's better to use your money to pay for it. The power behind this is much. Like you are going out, purchasing something with your money. You know what it means. It's not free. Do not price it so much like if they tell you for example five naira or they tell you 15 naira do not say oh from 15 naira you will not price is it not one naira no make sure you purchase it with your money and use it no nothing will be for you so do not also give out used items to take it back or collect used item from somebody Except the person is your sister, maybe you want you to, the person just want to give it to you. 
But there are some people that give out wears. They are no longer wearing. It can be, it can be a normal thing. Okay, some people like that. Like once in a while, some people they carry some of their things they are no longer wearing, which are still good. They go to orphanage home, less privileged home to give out. That one is normal. But the one of you go to somebody and pack used items, you be the one requesting for it. Please be careful. Use items like slippers, footwear, shoe, you know, different kinds of things that the person is wearing. Just like the wig I just mentioned. Do not collect from somebody. Mirror is also among. As long as the person has viewed him or herself using that mirror. Mirror is a reflection. You don't know what the person has used it for. You may be looking at people. You cannot read people. You cannot know people from their look. Many things happen in the hidden. Many things happen. People you see today, you don't know the kind of thing that they do. You'll be shocked if you see some secrets about people. So I'm not bringing fear to you. I'm just telling you the facts. Do not be collecting used things, used things from people. Everything about you, all your belongings are used items from people. Pillow is also among used items. Like the one that somebody has laid on. Everything in your home, including mattress, pillow, everything is used item that people gave you. Please, once in a while, use your money to purchase. It means a lot. So that you don't have many spirits surrounding in your house. Unknown spirits roaming everywhere. Those things can be an hindrance to one's prayer. And it can deprive new things from coming to your life. So the last one, which is the fourth one, is salt. Salt. I listed the first one, wig, padlock, used items. Then the fourth one is salt. Please beware. Do not... Give out salt or, in fact, the most important one is do not collect salt from somebody. Oh, my salt is finished. I'm cooking. Please give me salt. Mm. You don't know who is who. You don't know if the person has used it for spiritual work. Using it to remove negative energies from his or her house. And you don't know if it's the particular one the person wants to give to you. If it's the one of coming into the person's kitchen, you go to the kitchen, the kitchen cabinet and collect it yourself. Fine. But... You telling the person, please bring salt for me. You don't know where the person is bringing it from. Salt spiritually gets rid of negative energies. It absorbs out negative energies from the environment. That is why we are using it for cleansing. So you collecting it, using it every time. Give me salt, give me salt. You don't know where the person is bringing it from. Use salt. If you do spiritual work using salt, it's a used salt. You don't need it. I've always discussed that. I've also said it in previous video that you should remove salt from anywhere you place it after prayer trash it out in fact do not use it make sure you pack it out from your environment so if you take note of these four things by the grace of god you will see that things will be getting easier there are so many things anyway but i just want to list only these four check my videos you see so many spiritual things that will help you greatly that will guide you and you applying them spiritually will help you greatly remember that prayer is very important your faith is very important and everything will start working for you perfectly. So go on and try it. And by the grace of God, things will be moving smoothly for you. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share this video to everyone. Remain blessed as always. I will see you in my next video.